On this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python to keep your mouse moving on a consistent basis. And this is something that I'd actually heard there were tools that you could download to do this. And in my mind, I was thinking you could probably do this through Python. So I decided to poke around and came across this package called PyAuto GUI, PyAuto GUI. So let's get into it. This will be pretty quick. Over here, I have our demo Python folder and a virtual environment. First thing I'll do is get into the virtual environment. And if you're not quite sure how to actually set up or use a virtual environment in Python, um, check out one of my other videos. It covers that and uh, you can get yourself set up pretty quickly. Pip install, so we'll put this in here. And it's going to download it and all of its dependencies. Great, now let's look, make sure it's there. First, I will create a new file. We'll just call this move, it's called move.py. For the sake of time, I'll just copy and paste this code in here uh, and then we'll walk through it. The three modules that we're importing are this one that we just downloaded, time and random. And this is it. This is the code that we're doing. A basic for loop. And here what this is saying is for z, which is could be anything. I mean, this could be any variable in a range one through 10. So in this case, we're saying count from one to 10. You go to one. When you get to one, iterate through this, come back up two, do it again, three, four, until you get to 10. You know, you could put this up to 500 if you want, whatever, no, totally up to you. Within this loop, we're declaring two variables, X and Y, and those variables are given a random value. And what this is saying is, give me a random integer between zero and 500, just pick one. And same thing for Y. And the reason we're doing this is because then we can use the function move to in this module that will put it to that location. So here we are basically setting the X axis and here setting the Y axis. And then here setting the coordinates here. I'm capturing the local time for logging here. We will format the time at the end. We print it out, print out time and coordinates just you know, this isn't necessary really this whole part, but I like to see it just to you know have a log of what's happening. And then here is using the sleep function, which is saying do nothing for two seconds. This is the number of seconds you could do one, you could do 60 for one minute, 120 for two minutes. But for the sake of the video, just to show you, I'll keep it at two. And that's it. So that's all it takes. So the, the way to run this now is to go to this file, and run it. But since we're already here in Visual Studio, let's let's run it from here. We can do python move.py and we should see this mouse move. Oh, there it goes. And it logged the time, moved and the coordinates. You can see it moving. I'm not touching it. This is happening on its own. So it's pretty cool. I think there's a couple interesting use cases for this little life hack for you. Yeah, feel free to share this with your friends, use it on your own, do whatever, uh, as long as you still get your work done. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be posting more videos. This channel is primarily focused on data engineering types of topics. Python was one that we recently started covering, and I felt like this was an interesting, fun little example to show you some of the, the ways it can work. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you at a future video.